Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. for Grandma. Grandma gave me the jewelry kit, so it's the perfect way to say thank you. Making jewelry takes a lot of time and patience, Max. I don't think you'd like it. Hmm. <gasps> but I know something you will like. Uh-huh. Ta-da! The magnificent magnet science kit that Grandma got you. Magnets are lots of fun. They stick to metal things. If you experiment with them, you'll figure out what that means. That's what real scientists do. Here. You'll even look like a real scientist if you wear this lab coat. While I make a brooch for Grandma, you can have fun experimenting with your magnets. Okay, Scientist Max? Okay. metal shape for your brooch. Step two, choose the beads you want to decorate with. Step three, glue the beads onto the brooch. Step four, glue the metal clasp to the back of the brooch. Hmm, I can do that. Oh, there are so many different shapes to choose from. The question is, which one would Grandma like best? something that's just right for Grandma. Hmm. She likes leaves, but she doesn't love them. A teddy bear? Hmm. I don't think so. Huh? <laughs> magnet. Yes. The metal in my jewelry is sticking to your magnet. Thanks, Max. Oh, Grandma will be here soon, and I haven't found the right shape for her brooch. <gasps> A daisy! That's one of Grandma's favorite flowers! <laughs> now I just have to choose the beads to glue on it. Hmm. Daisies have white petals and a beautiful yellow center. Oh, I hope I have enough beads. Magnet. Magnet. I'm more than halfway done making the white petals. And I'm saving this beautiful yellow bead for the middle. Then it'll look just like a real daisy. Oh, no! 
one white bead. Oh, and another. Oh, there's two more. The last one. Oh, no. Where's the big, beautiful yellow bead for the middle? It must be here somewhere. Max, this is an emergency. I've lost my yellow bead. <gasps> Magnet! Phew, that was lucky. Grandma will be here soon, and I'm almost finished making her brooch. It's tricky work, so no more magnet, okay? <gasps> Done. Hmm. <gasps> I know. I'll put it on. And when Grandma notices it, I'll give it to her. Oh, she should be here soon. <gasps> here she comes. Ah! The brooch! What are you doing? Perfect! You found it! Magnet. I guess the glue wasn't dry yet. Grandma! Hi, Ruby! <laughs> no, Scientist Max! <gasps> Where did you get that beautiful brooch? I made it <laughs> for you. Oh, Ruby. Did I ever tell you that daisies were one of my favorite flowers? It's lovely. Uh-huh. I nearly lost the brooch, but Max found it by using his helicopter and his magnificent magnet. <laughs> Ruby's Parrot Project. Pandora likes it here by the window. I'm sure she'll be in good hands. I'll be back later to pick her up. Say goodbye to Rosalinda. I wish I could get her to talk, but she just hasn't learned yet. Oh, well, she's lots of fun anyway. Bye, Pandora. Bye, Max. Bye, Ruby. See you later. I've just had a great idea. Let's give Rosalinda a surprise. Surprise? <laughs> Rosalinda wishes Pandora could talk. What if we try to teach her? Surprise! I'm going to use this book and teach her to say something by the time Rosalinda gets back. Hmm. Surprise! Now let's see. When you speak to your parrot, Always use a happy, positive tone. I can do that. Guess what, Pandora? I'm going to teach you how to say, Hello, Rosalinda. Won't that be fun? <laughs> Surprise! Do you think you can learn to say that? Hello, Rosalinda. Won't that be a wonderful surprise? Oh! <laughs> that was a good surprise, Max. But it's not the kind of surprise I was thinking of. The book says that parrots like their home to be calm and peaceful. Okay, Max? Thanks. Now, let's see what else I need to know about teaching you to speak. says, parrots like company and attention, and they also like to have toys. Well, I can give you lots of attention, can't I? Hi, Pandora. 
But you still need some toys. Ah! Surprise! <laughs> that was another good surprise, Matt. Ah! Hmm, if I could just find some toys to keep Pandora company. Oh, you're flipping chicks. I bet she would love these toys. <laughs> she likes them. Maybe now she'll feel more like talking. Can you say, hello, Rosalinda? Say, hello, Rosalinda. I'd better look at the book again. <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> when teaching your parrot to talk, start with a word or simple phrase and repeat it over and over. I think... Hello, Rosalinda, is a nice, simple phrase. Don't you, Pandora? Hello, Rosalinda. Hello, Rosalinda. Hello, Rosalinda. Hmm, aren't you going to say anything, Pandora? Another good surprise, Max. But I'm working on an even better surprise. Now let's get back to work. <sighs> Thanks, Max. Hello, Rosalinda. Hmm. I think I'll check the book again. Surprise! Parrots like to copy sounds. If your parrot isn't speaking, try an easier sound like whistling. Can you whistle, Pandora? Like this? <laughs> now you try. Surprise! Max, I'm trying to teach Pandora to whistle, and the Frog Prince isn't helping by. Ribbit. 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 Pandora! You made a frog sound! Ribbit. 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 If you can do that, I bet you can learn to speak too. Say, hello, Rosalinda. Hello, Rosalinda. Ribbit. <sighs> Don't you want to give Rosalinda a nice surprise? <gasps> surprise. I know you can do it, Pandora. One more time. Say, hello, Rosalinda. That must be her. Huh, I guess hearing you say ribbit will be a surprise. Ribbit. Hi, Rosalinda. Hi, Ruby. How did you get on with Pandora? We got along fine. Only... Only what, Ruby? Well, I was planning something special for you, but it worked out a little different than I thought. I was going to teach Pandora to say... Surprise! Pandora, you spoke! That's amazing, Ruby. How did you do it? <laughs> Actually, I was trying to teach her to say, Hello, Rosalinda. But it turns out, Max was teaching her to say, ah, Surprise! Ribbit! Max's Spaghetti
Ready to catch the spaghetti, Ruby. Ready, Grandma. I can't wait for Mr. Piazza to get here so we can start our real Italian dinner. That's right. I hope he likes <gasps> spaghetti. <laughs> but it's not just spaghetti. It's spaghetti with Grandma's special zesty Italian tomato sauce. Mr. Piazza's gonna love it, right, Grandma? Well, I certainly hope so. I know he will. And guess what, Max? We're going to surprise Mr. Piazza by making Grandma's kitchen look like a real Italian restaurant. You know, with a red checkered tablecloth and matching napkins and candles and breadsticks. Goodness, look at the time. Oh, Mr. Piazza will be here any minute, and I haven't freshened up yet. Mmm, spaghetti. You'll have to wait for spaghetti, Max. When Mr. Piazza gets here, we'll mix it with Grandma's special zesty tomato sauce. But first, we have to set the table so it looks like a real Italian restaurant. Did you know I can speak Italian, Max? Susilli, rigatoni, ravioli. Spaghetti. <laughs> I didn't know you could speak Italian, too. There's a tablecloth. Spaghetti. Aha! Bellissimo. That's Italian for... <gasps> Max! Mmm, <gasps> spaghetti. <laughs> you have to wait for the spaghetti. And it'll taste even better with Grandma's special zesty tomato sauce. Mr. Piazza will be here soon, and then you can have all the spaghetti you want. Just like in a real Italian restaurant. <sighs> now that's Italian, but it's just the beginning. We need forks and spoons so we can eat spaghetti the Italian way. Do you know the proper way to eat spaghetti, Max? Like this. You get some spaghetti on your fork, and then you twirl it against your spoon. And then you put it in your mouth. Spaghetti! <laughs> Not yet, Max. I was just showing you for later. You can put these forks and spoons on the table while I get other things. Grazie, Max. That's Italian for thank you. <laughs> this salad is named after a famous Italian leader called Caesar. Caesar salad is only served in the very best Italian restaurants. Oh, I can't forget the curly twirly breadsticks. Hmm, something's missing. Spaghetti? I think we'll wait till Mr. Piazza gets here. Then we'll bring up the spaghetti and mix it with Grandma's special zesty tomato sauce right at the table. Won't that be exciting? Ah, oh, it's perfect. Now all we need is spaghetti. <laughs> Music! You can keep setting the table while I put on an opera. That's a play sung to music. Opera is very Italian. Mr. Piazza loves music. He's always singing in his shop. This one's perfect. The Bunny of Seville. Wow, everything's perfect. <gasps> Max! Oh no! It 
it's Mr. Piazza. Quick, clean up the spaghetti while I get the door. Spaghetti! Coming! I've got it, Grandma! Buongiorno, Mr. Piazza! Buongiorno, Ruby! Mwah! Ciao, Bella! Do you like the music, Mr. Piazza? I chose it just for you. Well, thanks. I love opera. And now that's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. Wait till you see the dinner table. It's just like a real Italian restaurant. With a checkered tablecloth and matching napkins and curly twirly breadsticks. That sounds bellissimo. But you know, there's really only one thing that matters in a real Italian restaurant. I know what you're talking about. It's spaghetti time! Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> Nice catch, Max. You saved the spaghetti and you mixed it in Grandma's special zesty tomato sauce. Bravo! Bravissimo! Well done! And now we can get to the most important part, where we all get to eat spaghetti! Ruby's Memory Quilt What do you think? A little to the right. Here, Ruby. Perfect! The campfire looks so real. It reminds me of our Bunny Scout camping trips. Right. That's why it's called... A, a memory quilt! <laughs> Yeehaw! Howdy, Cowboy Max! <laughs> I'm afraid I can't play with you right now. Louise and I are making a memory quilt. Look! We are going to fill each of these squares with a special memory. The first square reminds us of all the great times we've had camping. What do you think? Yeehaw! What are you going to put in the second square, Ruby? It's something that reminds me of Grandma. Because she makes them better than anyone else. Hmm. I know! Grandma's cupcakes! cupcakes. <laughs> <sighs> Little cowboys. Yep. <laughs> Looks just like Grandma's. Hmm, not quite. Grandma always adds something to make her cupcakes look extra special. Cowboy Max, but he's getting a little too close to my memory quilt. Maybe you and Horsey can play cowboy over yonder. What about this for the cupcake, Ruby? Hmm, maybe. 
Let's see if there's something else in my craft box. Perfect. <gasps> oh no! You spilled sparkles on my cupcake square. <gasps> it's perfect! Huh? Huh? The sparkles look just like the candy sprinkles Grandma uses. It looks good enough to eat. Whoa there, Cowboy Max. Maybe you should mosey off somewhere else while we finish the quilt. Yeehaw! Okay, let's glue these sprinkles down. I know just what to make for my third square. A picture of myself as a ballerina dancing on stage. We can use white felt for the picture of you. And what about this for the tutu? That's too, too plain. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeehaw! Looks like me on a leotard, but we have to find something for the tutu. Yeehaw! Max, this is not the place to chase your wind up beetle. Whoa! Oh, not in my closet. My tutu! Tutu. Oh, That's okay, Louise. It was way too small for me anyway. <gasps> but this is perfect for another bunny. The tutu looks amazing, Ruby. Thanks, Louise. Hmm, let's see. I've got memories of Grandma, Bunny Scouts, and Ballet. What else? Ready. Now all I need to do is decide what I want to paint. Yeehaw! I don't think it's a good idea to do rope tricks here, Max. Careful, you might spill. Oops! Oh, the paint! Oh no! Phew! It's a good thing you didn't get any paint on your quilt. Wait a second. <gasps> Maybe that's exactly where the paint should go. <gasps> you made two bunnies. One looks like you, and the other one looks like Max. Now I have a memory of how I made the quilt with the help of Cowboy Max. Lights, camera, ruby. Hi, Ruby. Are you ready for your close-up? <laughs> 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 Thanks for bringing your camera, Louise. I can't wait to make a movie for Grandma. What's your movie going to be about, Ruby? 
It's called A Perfect Day in the Life of Me. Written, directed, and starring me. And filmed by me. <laughs> <laughs> Trick. Nice trick, Max. But this movie does not include froggies. <laughs> Why don't you go practice some more tricks? You can show me after I've finished, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Max. How do you want to start, Ruby? The way I start every perfect day. Should I start the camera now? When I say action, that's when you start the camera. And when I say cut, that's when you stop. Just like in the real movies. And action. Rolling, Ruby. Every bunny needs to look her best, especially in the movies. That's why I use Blush Away Blush. And when it comes to lipstick, of course, Ruby Red is really me. Bombshell wig is really me. It looks even better on camera. How do you like my movie makeup, Max? Trick. Ah! Ribbit. I promise, Max. I'll watch your tricks after we finish the movie for Grandma. Why don't you go practice a different trick? <laughs> do you want me to keep rolling, Ruby? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to say cut. You just did. Practicing ballet is another part of my perfect day. Ready, Louise? Ready, Ruby. And action. And one. Frogs or fire trucks. Maybe you should go outside and practice a different trick. You can show it to me later. <laughs> What's next in your perfect day movie, Ruby? Dolly Tea Party. I can't wait to get that on film. Nothing says me more perfectly than a tea party. Mr. and Mrs. Quack, I'm so happy you came to my tea party. Tooth Fairy, one lump of sugar. <laughs> of course, you take two. <laughs> More tea, can't sit up, Slug? Are you getting all my guests in the movie, Louise? I'm getting everything, Ruby. Uh-oh. Trick. I'll watch your trick just as soon as we finish this part of the movie. Why don't you put your remote down till we're done? Thanks, Max. Uh-oh. Stop 
about this thing. Don't worry, Ruby. It's all on camera. I forgot to say cut again, didn't I? Ribbit. Ruby, I can't wait to see the world premiere of your movie. I hope you like it. I wanted it to be a perfect day in my life, but it didn't work out the way I planned. That's what makes life fun. Ahem. <clears throat> Presenting A Perfect Day in the Life of Me by Ruby and filmed by me. <laughs> Every second of it. But what I liked best was how it caught a perfect day in your life, Ruby. You're right, Grandma. My perfect days are always filled with beauty, ballet, tea parties, and me. Ruby's Ping Pong Record. Ready, Louise? Ready, Ruby. We're going to set a new ping pong record for East Bunny Hop. Do you really think we can get ten hits without a miss? There's only one way to find out. Let's play ping pong! Whoa! Uh-oh. Did you see where it went? Somewhere in the garden. I'll help you look. ball ended up. It's okay. I've got more. Huh? What's that? <sighs> it's Max's way out whaling space saucer and cosmic creeping crawlers. Little brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never be able to set a ping pong record with these toys on the table. I saw where it went. Space Station. That's 
two ping pong balls we've lost. We'll have to be more careful. I know. I've only got one more ball. Uh-oh. What are your toys doing here again? Space station? It may look like a space station to you, but it's actually our ping pong table. Red alert! Red alert! Why don't you set up your space station in the garden? It looks just like another planet. If you use your imagination, you can pretend you're on the planet of giant carrots. Good idea. You'll have just as much fun over there, Max. Thanks, Max. Red alert! Enemies detected! Enemies detected! Enemies detected! Ready to try for our record again, Louise? Ready, Ruby. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six! Oh, no! We'd better not lose that one. It's my last ping pong ball. It looked like it went in the sandbox. Space Station. I don't see it. Maybe it's on the other side. I don't see it over here either. Could it have gotten buried in the sand? without a ping pong ball. I have some at home. I could go get them. That would be great, Louise. I'll be back in two shakes of a bunny's tail. Max, I thought you were playing in the planet of the giant carrots. Space station. You can play on our ping pong table, but just until Louise comes back with another ball. Then we'll need it back, okay? <gasps> you found one of our ping pong balls. <gasps> Another one? You don't have the third ball, do you? You do! I'm ready for you this time. One. Two. Red alert. Three. Four. Red alert. Ruby, I found one. Huh? Five. Six. Wow, you're at six? It's a new East Bunny Hop Ping Pong record! It's the longest rally ever between a bunny and a space station! <laughs> <laughs> on the front of Katie's diner just right. And I have to be especially careful around the windows. Oh, no! Hooray! <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. I 
can't play parade with you right now. I'm building this for the Bunny Scout Diorama Contest. Diorama is another word for model. Does this look familiar? That's right! It's a little model of East Bunny Hop. See? There's Katie's Diner, Rosalinda's Gift Shop, and Mr. Piazza's Market. In a diorama, it's the little details that make all the difference. They give it pizzazz. <laughs> Parade? No time for a parade right now. Bunny Scout Leader is coming to pick up my diorama, and I have to finish it before she gets here. Why don't you play parade over there? Thanks, Max. What am I going to do with this blob of paint? <gasps> with a little work, I can make it look like a pizza in Katie's window. Perfect. Parade. on Rosalinda's awning. Perfect. Huh? Oops. Where did you come from? Oh, no. Stop. You're getting chick tracks all over my diorama. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Max, I believe these belong to you. Parade? I can't play parade with you right now. I have to finish my diorama before Bunny Scout Leader gets here. What a mess! There are flipping chick footprints all over the space in front of Rosalinda's door. Hmm. Uh-huh. If I paint a rectangle around the footprints, it'll look like a welcome mat. Rosalinda always has something pretty like that in front of her door. That'll give it a little more pizzazz. <laughs> Parade. There, that's much better. Now, Mr. Piazza's market needs something else. But what? Oh no! Careful, Rabbit Racer! Time to play parade, Max. Bunny Scout Leader will be here any minute, and I have to finish my diorama and clean up all this mess. We can play parade another time. For now, why don't you play with Yappy Puppy? He's lots of fun. Now I've got to get back to my diorama. Parade. Well, I don't have time to clean up this mess. I need to find something to spruce up Mr. Piazza's market. Wait a second. This clay could be just the thing. <gasps> I can make little apples and oranges and bananas out of it 
and put them in a fruit stand, like the kind Mr. Piazza has in front of his store. <laughs> now that's pizzazz. There. Now Mr. Piazza's fruit stand is full of fruit, just like the real one. My diorama really does look like East Bunny Hop. But it still could use a little more pizzazz. Bunny Scout Leader! Hello, Bunny Scout Ruby. Is your diorama all ready to go? I guess so. I was hoping to add something else. <gasps> I think it's wonderful. I feel like I'm walking right down the main street of East Bunny Hop. Max? Ruby, you built a diorama of East Bunny Hop, complete with a parade down Main Street. Well, I made the diorama, but it was Max's parade that gave it that extra bit of pizzazz. <laughs> Ruby's croquet match. Our sticks? Kind of. Except the hoops are called wickets. And you only hit your own ball with your mallet. But how do we know which ball is ours? It's easy, Louise. Your ball matches the color of your mallet. Just like when your shoes match your dress. Oh! I get it! I'm blue. I'm red. What's next? We take turns and try to hit our ball through each wicket, like this. The first one to get through all the wickets and hit the stake at the other end is the winner. Wow! You know a lot about croquet, Ruby. Grandma helped me set it up, and we played two practice games. So now I know all the rules. Whoa! There's nothing in the rules about race cars in croquet. <laughs> Race car! I believe this belongs to you, Max. Race car. We're playing a game of croquet. It's very difficult. And it's even harder if your race cars get in the way. Hmm. If we turn the curve this way, when your car comes out of the track, it'll go away from our game instead of into it. That way, we can both play. Race car. Um, who goes first, Ruby? The top color on the stake goes first, then the other colors in order. Blue, red, yellow. So it's Valerie, then Louise, then me. Are you ready to play croquet? Ready! ready! Uh, oh, I didn't get it through the hoop. That's okay. It usually takes a few tries to get it through the wicket. Now it's your turn, Louise. <gasps> oh, way to go, Louise. This is easier than I thought. <laughs> now you go, Ruby.
going to keep your race car away from our croquet game. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Ruby. You can have a do-over. Uh-uh. If you miss the ball, you miss your turn. But it's okay. I'll catch up. Okay. My turn. Nice shot. I'm next. Wow, that's two for two, Louise. <laughs> First time lucky, I guess. Time for me to play catch up. Great, Great shot, shot, Ruby. <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. I guess I'm just a natural. Watch this. Yay! I did it with my eyes closed. <laughs> I'll need to keep mine wide open if I want to catch up. Vroom, vroom! Ribbit. exciting than I thought. Race car? Your rabbit racer nearly blocked my shot, Max. Come on, let's see if we can find a way to keep him on your side of the yard. Look, Max. No wonder rabbit racer came flying into our game. You need to point the loop-de-loop -loop this way. And no more jumps, okay? There. Now you can play with your race car, and we can play croquet. is get my ball through two wickets, go between your balls, and hit the stake. Right, Ruby! <laughs> <laughs> Race car. Race car! Oh, no. Nice shot, Ruby. Not another one. Supposed to. <laughs> you said the player whose ball goes through all the wickets and hits the stake first wins. Croquet is the most exciting game ever. It's not usually quite so exciting. Only when you play with Max and his race cars. Ruby's Huff and Puff. Ready to earn our Bunny Scout Fitness Badge? I think so, Ruby. Mrs. Huffington is coming to show us what we have to do. Yoo-hoo! Are there any Bunny Scouts here who want to get fit? We, we do. do! What do we have to do? Follow me. You're going to do the Huffington Huff and Puff. Huff and Puff? What's that? 
Oh, it's my own special exercise routine. First, you warm up by stretching. You'll know when you've stretched enough when you can touch your toes. Like this. <sighs> Got it? Got it. Then you run on the spot with your knees up high until you're huffing and puffing. Got it. And last, you do four squat jumps like this. That looks hard. Now you'll know you've done it right when you feel it in your legs. Ooh. Okay, bunny scouts, start stretching. Uh, great. Now try touching your toes. My toes are too far away. Mine too. That's the thing about warming up and stretching. The more you do it, the easier it will get. I'm just going for a jog around the park. I'll check back in a bit to see how you're doing. Have fun. Okay, Mrs. H. Thanks. Basketball? Roger should be here soon, Max. <laughs> you don't know your own strength. I'll get it for you. I can't reach it. Let me try. I can't either. Hmm. If we can just reach the branch, maybe we can bend it down enough to get the ball. We got it. Now you hold on to the branch and I'll try to get the ball. Great stretching, Ruby. Thanks. Hmm, I wonder... Look, I can touch my toes now. Me too. We've done the first huff and buff exercise. <laughs> Basketball. Uh-huh. Hi, Roger. <laughs> Hi, Ruby. Hi, Louise. Hey, Max. Ready to learn how to shoot some hoops? Basketball! Wow! Thanks, Roger. Have fun, Max. <laughs> Check this out. Let's start with dribbling. That's what it's called when you bounce the ball. See? Give it a try. Try bouncing it with one hand. Well, that's a good start. Try again. <sighs> Next, we have to run on the spot with our knees up high. Right. Oh, my. They'll have their fitness badges in no time. Great. Now that you can dribble on the spot, try to run and dribble at the same time. Phew! I'm getting tired. But we're not even huffing and puffing yet. Look out! Follow that basketball! Like this. 
Wanna try a shot? First, you squat down. Uh, then, you jump up. Ugh. That looks hard. You did it, Louise! Try again, with a little more oomph. Uh-oh. Basketball on the court? Louise and I have to finish our squat jumps before... Congratulations, Bunny Scouts. Those were perfect squat jumps. You've completed the Huffington Huff and Puff and earned your Bunny Scout badges for fitness. Yay! Uh, you know, we don't need the Huffington Huff and Puff to get our exercise. All we need is Max and his basketball. 